East Coast fever kills one head of cattle every 30 seconds and one million cattle every year. The disease is prevalent only in sub-Saharan Africa, a threat to 28 million beasts. A usable drug to treat ECF and a vaccine are available, but they have shortcomings. It is difficult to produce. Uh, it requires antibiotic treatment. It's expensive. It takes a long time. It takes about 18 months to make a batch of vaccine. Scientists are now developing a cheaper vaccine, and they believe it could make a vital contribution to research into two other diseases, malaria and cancer. How? East Coast fever and malaria are both caused by single-celled parasites. The vaccine currently being developed will produce antibodies and killer T cells at the same time. This response by the body may help with malaria. Informal discussions are already underway with experts. East Coast fever also resembles cancer. After invading a cow's white blood cells, the parasite causes them to proliferate rapidly. This is similar to how the blood cancer lymphoma works. If we find new ways to stimulate the most appropriate immune response with a new vaccine, with a proper vaccine, then this can also impact potentially on the achievements in treating certain cancer forms or helping to understand better how a, um, a malaria vaccine can be composed. The current vaccine has saved 620,000 head of cattle. The new vaccine, expected four years down the line, could potentially save millions. Know more about your world. ENCA.com